if, when I asked people, when I talked to people, hey, what are you looking for? Are you looking for concealability? Are you looking for comfort? Are you looking for cost? And everybody says, yeah, I want it to be concealable and I want it to be comfortable. All right, cool. It's going to cost this much. And they're like, oh, no. And that's why people have, you know, that's why holsters that are sold on Amazon and eBay end up being so successful. That is why everybody I know has a drawer full of those holsters because, well, maybe this $30 holster would do it for me. Or maybe this $50 holster would do it for me. And, you know, it doesn't do it for them. And that's why they're 30 bucks, they're 50 bucks, you know, because, you know, it'll work for dudes. Uh, it won't work for ladies. It won't work for big dudes. It won't work for, you know, the vast majority of the people that, you know, that we see. But um, in order for you to have something that's going to be more comfortable, it's going to cost a little bit more because you have to be able to cover the R&D and the manufacturing and the distributing. You have to be able to cover that stuff. You're dealing with professionals here. And so they need to be paid for the work that they're putting into you. So, um, and so, you know, I put out a couple of recommendations as far as, you know, good holster manufacturers, but the main thing I put into that video is like, what really, what, what we should be looking for in a holster. And just to break it down into like a 30 second snippet, um, a holster should be, it really should be safe. It, the four jobs of a holster is number one, it needs to protect the trigger. It absolutely needs to protect the trigger. If, if that trigger can still be pulled sometimes even by the holster itself, then we shouldn't have it on our body. Um, number two, it needs to be able to like hide the gun. And that's the main reason why we mess with holsters. Instead of messing with shotguns or rifles, I can't carry a rifle under my shirt. <laughs> so I'm going to carry a pistol. Um, the third thing is to keep the gun in position. That way I can draw it quickly. Uh, I don't want the gun to be here or here. Some gun holsters are actually made to shift around with your body. The problem with that is, especially with us as big dudes, um, that can it can drive the gun into a crevice that might be sensitive to pain and discomfort, or it might be hard for me to get my hand into. And then the fourth thing it needs to do is, it needs to do all that stuff without any discomfort or any pain. It needs to be comfy. So um, it's not gonna be as comfy as not wearing a gun, but it shouldn't be painful. You know, you shouldn't have bruises. It shouldn't distract you from, from everyday life. It shouldn't keep you from the things that you do every day. So, um, and even as a big dude, yeah, appendix works for me because, you know, I, there's certain limitations. I, um, I don't really carry a weapon on at light every day, um, because I can't hide it on my body. You know, I, my body just does not allow it. There's not enough space. Uh, so, you know, if I did have enough space, then I would probably do it. Uh, but you know, I just don't have that space there. It's just so much easier to just carry the gun instead of carrying a, a weapon on a light. And, um, I think another thing that a lot of people don't know is how many really, really good holster companies are out there that are willing to help you at the drop of a hat and how many, uh, how many accessories there are, uh, to help you better hide the gun and to better, you know, make it a little bit more comfortable. Like, like one trend that I'm seeing is with, you know, uh, pillow wedges, they are little pouches that are filled with cotton and it's a pillow that you stick on your holster and it, it keeps away those hot spots that a lot of people have with appendix carry. Um, a lot of people don't realize that's a thing. And so this is one thing that if, if you don't want to do that, you have like, uh, you have sheepskin cloth that ends up being really comfy, uh, is most commonly associated with uh, ankle carry holsters. But, Sheepskin cloth you know, for a holster like cover or like that's so interesting. Oh, yeah. I've never seen that. Yeah, because one pain point that a lot of people have is you know um, the edge of the holster will dig into a crevice, and so I'll actually go a little bit over into a different direction because I think it'll better address this uh, this concern. Um, there's there's three main questions that people should ask themselves anytime they're having discomfort with a holster. Uh, the first thing is, is the gun in their sweet spot? Um, Filster Holsters actually has like a lot of educational materials. That's where I learned a lot of this from. Um, there's a sweet, there are sweet spots on your body. And the way that you, you would find that is you would have to identify your peaks and your valleys. Like your valleys are basically those areas that your clothes typically drape over, you know, and 
your peaks are where those areas that your clothes rest on. Like if your gun sits on a peak, then it's going to print. Like for me, my biggest peak is my, um, for some people, their biggest peaks are their hips. So it just depends on your body and your needs. But, you know, what you want to do is in order for you to successfully hide the gun, you want to hide it in a valley and keep it away from peaks. And so once you find that place where you can draw it effectively, but it's still comfortable every single day, then we could basically call that our, our sweet spot. And we could start looking into ways to keep the gun there. Um, and then the second two questions I would ask is, uh, where does it hurt? And what part of the gun slash holster is actually hurting you? So, and for a lot of people, all they know is that it hurts, but they haven't really thought enough into this thing to identify what part of their body actually hurts. Like for some people, and this was happening with me when I first got into appendix, um, the rear sights were digging into my stomach right there by my belly button. Um, another thing that was happening was the edge of the holster, the very edge where a lot of these holsters are basically made from Kydex and they taco together. Mm-hmm. Well, that taco edge would cut against, it would, it would come into my thigh and mm-hmm. it would cause discomfort there. And then also, because a lot of people have more gun above the belt than they have below it, what will happen is it'll cause the gun to tip out. And when that gun when that gun tips out, the muzzle tips in, and that can create a hot spot. Uh, it really happens with bigger dudes because, you know, the gut is pushing against the gun. I actually saw so, this with, and I don't mean to interrupt you because I, I do want you to finish yeah. your list, but 